In this video, we'll cover how to add persistence to LangGraph agents. So we've added a method in LangGraph where when you create the graph, you can specify a check pointer. And this check pointer will save the state of the graph at each iteration. So if you want to resume from that same state, you easily can. One really obvious use case of this is giving the agents memory. So you can basically resume previous conversations with the agents and it will have the exact memory of everything that they've done up until that point. Or more precisely, they will have memory of what the state was when they last interacted with that checkpoint. So let's take a look at an example of how to do this. So in this notebook, we can set up our OpenAI, Tavili, and, and Langsmith keys. We can start, and this is just creating a simple uh, message graph agent. If you haven't watched the videos on how to create these types of lang graph agents before, go check those out. There's much deeper dives on them. We'll just create a pretty straightforward one. It will have access to one tool, a Tavili search tool. Um, we'll create the tool executor. We'll be using OpenAI for this demo, although you can use any model you want. We'll create, uh, uh, we'll bind these uh, functions to the models the model um, and now we'll create our graph uh, this is just gonna be a really simple um, uh, so we're gonna use a really simple message graph down here so we're gonna have one function that basically takes in a list of messages and determines whether it needs to call a function or whether it should continue um, when it uh, when we call the model we're just gonna invoke it on the uh, model and then return back the response and then we're also going to have this node that just calls tools. So these are standard, uh, these are standard uh, uh, nodes that we're going to create. We'll create the graph. We have this agent node. We have this action node. We set the entry point to be agent. After the agent, we see whether we should continue. Um, we either finish or we go to the action. And after the action, we go back to the agent. So this is all standard kind of like agent graph stuff that we've done in other videos. What's now new is that when we compile this graph, we're going to pass in a check pointer. Specifically, we're going to pass in the SQLite check pointer. So it's called SQLite Saver. From connection string, we're connecting to it in memory, although we could easily connect to a database that's in disk or anywhere else. So we're going to create this. We're going to pass this in to uh, workflow.compile, and now we have our app. So now we can interact with this agent. So let's create our first message, and let's say, hi, I'm Bob. Um, we'll pass this in, and notice that we're passing in this thing right here, um, which has a thread ID. So this is, so configurable is basically just ways to configure specific attributes on it, and thread ID is a way to configure the check pointer. So what will happen is we'll send the inputs in, and they'll be associated with this thread ID equals two. And so if we want to resume from that, then we can just use the same thread ID. If we want to start again, we can use a separate thread ID. Um, so here we'll pass this in, um, we'll print out the, res the results, here it's just, hello Bob, how may I assist you? Um, here we'll pass in another one. And so notice that we're only passing in what is my name. And so if we did this and we didn't have this persistence layer here, then it wouldn't know what the name is. But since we added this persistence layer, we can see that it remembers that your name is Bob. And this is because we're using the same thread ID. If we switch thread IDs and set thread ID equals to three and pass in the same question, what is my name? It doesn't remember it. And that's because there's nothing in that, uh, in that state before. This video hopefully showed you how to add state or add persistence to your lang graph agent. We showed how to do it with the message graph. So it's just remembering this list of messages, although this works generically for the state graph as well. So if you wanna save other aspects of state, um, it can absolutely do that. And with this thread ID configuration, you can easily resume conversations from where you last left off. Thanks.